Jay has the number one show on television. And like he said, like in, in Letterman's days, that block of Jay Leno followed by Conan O'Brien is probably the most lucrative two hours it of was, television yeah. in existence. And when that started, Don Omeyer, after 13 weeks, wanted to get rid of Conan. And I said, no, I think he's funny. And I said, tell you what, Don, I will promote Conan every night. I'll, at the end of my show, I'll say, stay tuned for Conan. He's got, uh, you know, so Elton John. Whatever. Yeah, because he had a rough start. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and that worked fine. And that worked great. So listen to this. And he so, knew too. No, I so I him. know the story. I know the inside. I meant NBC. Okay. So he's kicking ass. This is the most lucrative, you know, two hours of television there is. And ultimately television is just um, a, a factory. Right, right. Okay. Not only is it lucrative, this guy, and I'm pointing again at Jay Leno, <laughs> has masterminded I mean, I, I always found this fascinating. When you did the Tonight Show, not only, uh, you know, is he, is it doing well? It's not doing well by accident. You watch the ratings. You know how to book it. You know where the ratings go down. He was the one person that would support me when I had nothing and I was doing hidden Howies. You know, I was doing these hidden camera pieces and he would put me on. But I would hand in uh, hidden camera things. He would look at it and he goes, I can't, I can't. Sometimes this will not play well. This I, will I would not say to him, Howie, can we lose the caca doo doo bit? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> I mean, that was really what it was. Because I loved Howie. And I thought, but I could just see from our audience, and I would see from Fred DeCordova, who was kind of snobby, that that was not Johnny's. It was still Johnny's sensibility. Right. At that point, you know. Right. So I would say, and how he did, he would say, okay, I'll take out the doo doo caca thing. And then it, and then he, it would kill it. But fun. here's, but the point of, that I'm making is you weren't on a show that was number one. You were on a show that you m manipulated to be number one. You worked that show. You right, weren't just right. on that show. That was the Jay Leno show. Right, right. So, and NBC and people who watch should be aware of that. That is not by accident. He also supported the show that went after him and the network by promoting and creating that slot after him to be number one. When that came, when Conan's contract came up to fruition, um, everybody, because that's where they want to make money, CBS, Fox, ABC, is, you know, waiting to maybe poach him. Right. They go to uh, to uh, Conan's people, Gavin Pallone. They go to Gavin and they say, we want to re-up the contract. He goes, well, the only way you can re-up it is we need the Tonight Show. He goes, well, Jay's doing the Tonight Show and it's number one. He goes, I don't care. We need the Tonight Show. They go, well, Jay's got another five years on his contract. Right? Am I, right. if I'm yeah. incorrect, Jay's got another five years on his contract. They go, I don't care then we don't know what's happening in five years. Right. They risk versus reward. They say, well, we're not going to lose this hour to Fox or ABC. Okay, we'll say in five years. And then if something happens, maybe we'll, in their minds, we'll renegotiate. We'll say you get the Tonight Show in five years. They sign that. Gavin says, I want it announced now. Right. Right? Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm correct. Yeah. I know I'm correct. Yeah, yeah. So they call you, one of my friends called you, and said, you have to announce your retirement. You didn't announce a retirement. You don't want to retire. Look at how right, busy wait. you are now. Here's, here's my thing. At the time, I know if you don't do that, you die of a thousand paper cuts. Why? Because little stories will drop about you being uh, disruptive or not doing that, you know? So I said, you know, it, to me, it's like when I would date women, if they don't want to go out with me, I'm not going to beg you. If you don't want to see me anymore, fine, fine. And that's why I said to NBC, I said, you want me out of here in five years? Really? Okay, fine. So, okay. Now, but let's be clear. You don't want to retire. No, I don't want to retire. But I said, but I know if you look, when you make the kind of money you make in TV, to the average person, you have no problems at all. And your problems pale in comparison to theirs. So don't even bring them up. So I said, okay, so go the five years. See, the real uh, thing that threw this was Craig Ferguson. Because I was number one, Conan was number one. All right, the deal was made. Lana, you're leaving in five years. 
all right. So I said, okay. Well, 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 well slow down. Okay. Slow down. The, I want to make it really clear. Mm -hmm. You did not retire legitimately. You did not say, you did not announce a legitimate retirement where you said, I've had enough in five years. Well, I think you I said, I, I think I said, yeah, they wanted me to say, I was saying, all right, that's fine. Okay, if that's what they want, that's what they want. Not what you wanted is my point. No. Right, which I, I would have a hard time telling the world this is what I've decided to do. Yeah, you're you know you're right about why, but <laughs> you're amazing to me that but you- here's, here's what happens is then the whole machine, remember I had no agent, I had no manager. No, never had. Okay. Uh, so then- I know your lawyer. Then the whole my PR thing starts. With the attacks, the ratings start to drop for Leno. You know, the, whatever whatever they can come up with, they do. So you. So figure, I would have done. I would have hired an agent or a manager or a a, a, a publicist. You know, if I had to convince you to love me, I'm not going to do that. You know, you like what I'm doing. You know, I never once asked for a raise. They just gave them to me. I said okay. That's no, great. I know that. The difference you between, know? like Letterman used to, he took, uh, you know, Worldwide Pants, which was the production company, and he used to produce, you know, all these other shows that he owned. He owned uh, Raymond, yeah, and right, he owned right. all these yeah, other, right. he made a fortune, probably made more from that sure, than sure. he made from yeah. the from the late night show. I came to you a couple times. I said, I got an idea. I want to produce something under Big Dog, Produ is it Big Dog Productions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which you're, you go, I just do the Tonight Show, and I do my stand-up comedy. I... You can't know how much I respected you for just, you are who you are and you do what you do. Well, I mean, that's what it is. See, the thing to this story was Craig Ferguson came along yeah. and then suddenly he was beating Conan and the network went, oh, what's this all about? You know, because his ratings were so good. He won a Peabody Award. He won some Emmys. And then it was like, did we make a mistake? I said, guys, I'm here. And then they came to me and they said, uh, look, the thing with Conan is a done deal, and, you know, next year or whenever. Well, let me, let me, because I know my friend, I want to take you through like how you thought of this. Okay. So not only the. You just cut him off to take him through how he thought of that? Yeah. Okay, no, go ahead. No, go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead, I'll let no, you finish. No, go ahead. Okay. You, t you talk, and then. Uh, well, no, no. Welcome uh, to my life. My whole childhood, he cut me go. off to tell me what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know where I was going now. Was oh. it? Well, go ahead. I'm a good interviewer. Yeah, good, good, good. No, but here's so, so you announced this retirement against your will. He's going down. I just want to say, I just want people to know everything. And I want to get this mm. out. And this is stuff that's been laying on my chest. Apparently it's uh, not on yours. <laughs> the, um, they realized really quickly that if you announced your retirement, that ABC, CBS and Fox you're there for the poaching. Right, right. So right away they say to you, as soon as they realize that, they go, Jay, you can, don't go to another network. We're gonna make your show, the same show, in prime time. Right, which I knew wouldn't work. So the deal I made was, if you pay my staff for two years, regardless of what happens, I'll do it. Because I think they were keeping me in case Conan didn't work out. I think they were keeping you because they didn't want you to go well, some probably, other place. Probably a little bit of both, yeah. Then management, Gavin Pallone, calls the network and says, all right, so we have The Tonight Show at 11.30. You just gave Jay the 10 p.m. show. I think you're fucking us because I'll just tell you as my, myself, if I have something to promote or I want to go on something, I'm going to go on prime time first. You know, there is this war of booking, right? right? right. Where do you go first? You go to Jay first, right? right? You go to the, well, if you go to Jay, then you can't go to, you know, if you go to Fallon, you can't go to. Right. To So, so then he goes, you're fucking us. So now they call you and you've said, I'm keeping my staff, which is, you were always amazing to your staff and anybody who's worked for you has the same thing to say. You know, you were there for them. You always supported them. And then they say to you, Jay, we said you can do your show at 10 o'clock. No, no, you can't do the same show. You can't have guests. We'll build your racetrack, right? Yeah, well, we could have some guests, but they, wa they wanted the monologue at the end of the show to lead into the new, yeah, it just didn't work. You know? Right. But anything just to keep you there. Right, right, right.